Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Today's readings present us with a dramatic turn of events in the life of Saul, later known as Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. In the first reading, Acts 9 verses 1 to 20, we witness Saul's intense encounter with the risen Christ. It is a moment of profound transformation that redirects the course of his life. Saul is on his way to Damascus, armed with authority to arrest followers of the way. However, God has a different plan. A blinding light from heaven and a voice asking, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me, marks the beginning of Saul's conversion. This encounter is not just a change of mind but a complete transformation of heart and soul. The responsorial psalm, Psalms 117 verses 1 and 2, invites all nations to praise the Lord for His merciful kindness and truth. It is a fitting response to the universal call of the gospel that Saul would later champion. In the gospel, John 6 verses 52 to 59, Jesus speaks about the bread of life, stating that whoever eats his flesh and drinks his blood remains in him and he in them. This is the Eucharistic promise that sustains us on our journey, just as it sustains Saul, who was strengthened by God's grace to begin his mission. Saul's conversion reminds us that no one is beyond the reach of God's transformative love. It challenges us to consider our own encounters with Christ. Are we open to being transformed? Are we willing to let go of our plans to embrace God's will? Let us pray for the courage to respond to God's call with the same zeal as Saul. May we, too, become ardent proclaimers of the gospel in our words and deeds. May God bless you all. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we're all about sharing engaging content that you won't want to miss. So, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, share, and comment below to support us. Your interaction not only helps our channel grow but also tells us what content you love to see. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope you subscribe and join our community. God bless you always.